Sorry, Thomas, I lost my cars on the hill. Is everyone all right? No, James, everyone is not all right. You have caused confusion and delay. I demand to know how this happened. Well, sir, the thing is, I was going to... It was a fallen branch on the line, sir. It was nobody's fault. It, it was an accident. Oh, accident, eh? Well, um... Sounds to me rather like this little brick van saved us all from disaster. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, I... <coughs> I suppose so. You are a really useful and very brave brick van. Quite right. Uh, well done, Toad. Carry on, carry on. The opera awaits. <laughs> Toad was still thinking about what Dowager Hat had said to him. He felt very proud. You can go a little faster if you like, Mr. James. Oh, no. This will do. Thank you, Toad. Never too slow, never too fast. That's what I always say. Thanks for your help today, Toad. And thank you very much, sir. Call me James. Hello, Mr. Oliver. I... Hello, Toad. You'll never believe what happened to me today. Let me tell you all about it. Actually, Oliver, I think you should ask Toad about the adventure he had today. You, Toad? You had an adventure? Well, yes, as it happens. It all started when I was coupled to Mr James. But he started to go a bit too fast. By the time we reached Gordon's Hill, we were going so fast, my wheels were shaking. Well, that don't sound like much of an adventure, Toad. But that's not all. That's when we saw a branch had fallen on the line. No! Yes! And the thing was, we were going so fast, we couldn't stop. <gasps> so, what happened next? That's when it got really scary. James couldn't stop. And so Toad told everyone about his adventure on the main line. Oliver said he could hardly believe it. But Toad said that was OK. He'd tell him the whole story again tomorrow. Meanwhile, Oliver was coming along Duck's branch line too. But he didn't see any signal warning him to stop or slow down. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but James was very cross. Oliver, why didn't you look where you were going? There was a yellow signal back there. I didn't see any signal. Um, please, can I get out the water now? Rocky started to lift Duck back out of the water again, and Oliver started to back up so that his driver could put up a warning flag. But then there was more trouble. <laughs> By this time, Harold had seen what was going on, and he flew back to fetch Sir Topham Hat. At last, Rocky managed to lift Duck out of the water. Thank you, Rocky. You're welcome, Duck. So many accidents. How could this have happened on my railway? I'm very sorry, sir, but it must be my fault. I must have knocked down the signal pole. My crane arm wasn't secured, and I was swinging about. It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. I was in a hurry to go, and Rocky wasn't ready, so... So... Oh, actually, sir, I suppose it was my fault. 
I didn't give Rocky time to secure his crane arm properly. That's why he was swinging about. I can't say that I am very happy about this, James, but I am proud of you for admitting what you have done. Perhaps it would be best if you made amends by pulling Duck's cars while his firebox dries out. Yes, sir, I'd be happy to. Pulling cars may not be his favorite job, and James knows that he can't always do the jobs he likes best. But so long as the sun is shining, he is a very splendid-looking bright red engine indeed. But James liked everyone to see his shiny red paint so he slowed down. Hello, everybody. Glad to be of service. The last coach can't stop and bump into the back of the other slip coaches. <gasps> Luckily, nobody was hurt. But after that, the slip coaches refused to move. We won't go with James. He doesn't know how to use slip coaches. No, not at all. That was when Sir Topham Hatt arrived and found the passengers all complaining and saying what a bad railway it was. Oh, James, what have you done? These slip coaches were a terrible idea. But, sir, they just take a bit of getting used to, that's all. Maybe I could help, sir. The slip coaches were overjoyed to see their old friend Duck. Hello, Hello Duck. 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 Hello, Slippies. Do you mean to say you know these slip coaches, Duck? Of course. I used to pull them on the Great Western Railway, as I was telling James last night. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hatt understood. James had only pretended to know about slip coaches. Really, it was all Duck's idea. Duck? Perhaps you would like to pull the slip coaches around Sodor. If that's all right with them, of course. Yay, Duck! Of course it is! Capital idea! So Duck took over pulling the slip coaches. Even though it was the busiest day Sodor had ever seen. Thanks to Duck and the slip coaches, everyone reached their destinations on time. And all the passengers agreed it was a very good railway indeed. Evening all. Three cheers for Duck and the slip coaches. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! It just goes to show there really are only two ways of doing things. The wrong way or... The Great Western Way! Without a back engine to push from behind, it was very hard to pull the heavy cars up the hill. Oh, you said you were going to be good. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. Keep it back. We won't hold you back anymore. <laughs> Without a back engine to hold back from behind, it was very hard to slow down. And Thomas's brake van wasn't strong enough to stop the heavy cars. <laughs> Signalman switched him onto a siding. <laughs> Thomas, what happened? You two were taking so long. I decided not to wait and take the troublesome trucks by myself. Without a 
back engine? Not a good idea. I know. Sorry, Thomas. I did tell Mavis a number of times that we should get back to the quarry. What? You never said... Oh! Uh, <coughs> Mavis and Diesel help to get Thomas and the troublesome trucks back on the line. I know Naughty Diesel and Mavis left you all on your own, Thomas, but you should never have taken those cars without a back engine. I'm sorry, sir. I was trying to be useful. Sir Topham Hatt sent Mavis back to the quarry. to do what she does best. But he also realized that now and then, it was nice for her to take cars down to the docks. And that makes Mavis a very happy engine indeed. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do, I do like, like to stroll, stroll along the prom, 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 where the brass bands play tiddly um pum pum Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. When I'm down beside the sea, I'm beside myself with three beside the seaside. Beside the sea. Beside the sea. Beside the sea. Beside the sea. 